Whoa, people here. What's up, guys? It has been crazy last week. Let's get people in here and let's get into it. Okay. Are people already in here? Wow, you guys. Wow. Everyone's ready to go, ready to rock. I should probably turn off my volume oh, yeah, every single idea. time. Don't what is up, everybody? Everybody is coming in. What's going on? Bum, 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 bum. Hope you guys are, fun are ready for a very entertaining Monday night. Once again, we have our list as always. A lot of fun things to um, cover. And of course, we have a lot of fun giveaways. So I hope you guys are ready. So we'll give we'll give some hints with um when that's coming. So get people rolling in here. Oh, someone said good morning. Brooke said good, good morning. morning. So wherever you are is that. Jetta, I'm bringing friends. Oh, oh, oh what's up? J Pop <laughs> is in the house. Hey, hey. Nerdy treasures rolling in. What's Judge up? Jack, what's, what's going up? on? People coming in. Hope everyone's having a awesome Monday. It has been. Good to finally chill and not have to worry about the 10.30 a.m. Funko drop. But, yeah. of course, we had that whiz this morning. Oh, yeah. Last, whiz, whiz, last week was crazy. So. Last week was insane. And I saw, I, I caught up on my sleep today. I had, like, a three and a half yeah, hour nap you after passed out worked. for a while. Oh, my goodness. My eyelids are still twitching. It was just, it was very, very crazy. It's just, we knew SDCC was going to be crazy. Don't get us wrong. But, uh, I mean, man, like, Thursday wiped us out, and then just everything else. And there's been so much going on. And just San Diego Comic-Con in general with all the trailers. Oh. Like, I'm a big DC fan, as you guys know. And it's just that Shazam trailer, the Aquaman trailer. Oh, my God. I was just, I had to go through, like, three new shirts on Saturday just to keep changing. I was sweating so much. My God. So, it's been good to just relax. We got our Monday, and now we have this stream for you guys. And we got some giveaways and some fun things to talk about. Someone so. asked where Bobo is. It's like, where's Waldo? He's in the he's in the frame. We he's see him. He's in there. He's elevated on it. We've been working a little bit more. We have a lot of cool, like, display things. I mean, we obviously, we have way too many pops. We've actually finally reached the point, guys. No, it's so sad. It's, it's so sad. It's legitimately, like, we're legitimately out of room. Like, now it's the point where me and Kevin have to just, we're, like, discussing. It's like a shared custody battle with a kid. It's like, do we put our pops in boxes and store them? Yeah. Or what the heck do we do? So Kevin's like, well, we'll take the common pops and we'll put them in boxes. And yeah, we'll that's what I'm saying. No. We, no we Treat them all to. the same. Treat all the pops no, the same. So exclusive common. <laughs> There's oh. so there's so many pops in here. It's ridiculous. This entire table gets covered yep. on a weekly basis. We have to move it from one table to the next whenever we're doing a video or whatever we're doing. We have there's like no room down here. It's insane. We barely hang out down here. Yeah, we had to come down here 30 minutes early just to clean clear off this table because there's off all of our San Diego Comic Con pops and everything else we've been getting in. So we rearranged just, them too a little bit. You guys saw if you guys have seen our collection video, like we just have them all over the place. I have another bookshelf down here with pops and we just there's no room for them anymore. We don't know what we're going to do. This, this is We have like an awesome man cave basement down here. And it's just, everything is popped. Everything. And it's it's just crazy. So yeah. we don't know what to do. But yeah, so we've been re-editing the show. We've got some little cool things. Wow, so. 126 people in here. That's nuts, you guys. Hey, you guys are bumming. You guys you are ready. Want some, uh, pops. You might want some pops. I want some pops. It's true. But um, yeah, so everyone, we got, we got a good amount of people shuffling in now. So we'll go over with the basis of the, uh, the storyboard, whatever you want to call it, for the night. So basically... We will be doing giveaways, as you guys know, because that's what the title says. So we're not clickbait as much as we want to be. But so, <laughs> ah, la, la, fun, fun, fun. So we will be doing giveaways. So I'm not going, I'm going to make this fun, a lot of mystery. I will give you guys one hint for everyone that's in here early. Um, this will not really be a random giveaway. This will be, if you guys know Pop Academy and you guys are terrific members, just like all of you are the Academy. If you know your Pop Academy trivia... You guys are going to have a good shot at this giveaway. So, you know, if you want to go watch, like, every video again really quickly. No, 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 obviously not. But some of these questions we have for who's going to win the giveaway is really going to be determined on, I don't you have know. To watch our videos. They're not lot. super tough, and but they're, they're a little, little, little tough. So that's it. We got a few Comic-Con Pops to give away. And we got a few um just other random ones we had going around. So if you guys, you know, chance of that. And... As always, um, it's very entertaining to do this way. I am not going to tell any of you when the first giveaway is going to be. I'm actually, let's see. So we are at 44 likes. I have a number in my head, which I'm not going to disclo um, disclose with you guys. And when we hit that number, we will do the first giveaway. So I'm not going to tell you what the number is. So I don't know. I don't know. It might be a million. So we might never get the giveaway. But that's cool. That's not true. Anyway, so that's the deal with that. Um, everyone's bumming. I can't even read the chat, guys. I know, the, chat, the chat's going crazy. It's like, this is like. You know, I don't even know. I don't know what to say. I'm just going to have to pick a random comment and say something, too, because I want to talk Jetta to you guys. brought a lot of people in here. Everybody's saying Jetta sent me. I, I keep seeing that in the chat. Oh, that's man. awesome. Oh, thanks that's what you meant with friends. Oh, okay, then. Yeah, thanks for coming over. 
Thank you very much, everyone coming over from Jetta's channel. Thank you very much. He's our leader. He's our leader. We don't bow to him. He actually just came out with a fantastic video. Oh, that video is excellent. He just came out with one. So if you guys haven't checked it out, make sure to check it out. So um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jetta. So anyway, let's see. San Diego Comic-Con, guys. Let's take a seat back. How did you guys do? Did you get the pops you want? Honest to God, I was super nervous about it this year, but I've been talking a lot with Catherine about it. We spent a, we, we spent a lot of time on it, so we're not going to spend too much tonight on it. But honest to God, it wasn't that tough this year. The Funko Shop, obviously, was... The Funko Shop was is always difficult, and I feel like it's going to... It's just always going to be difficult, but it wasn't, like, the worst I've seen. But some things, oh. like that last day, Sunday... That that got pretty messed up. What happened there? Oh my god, the, that was very the weird. Ragnarok director and that Mad Max ride and Scott Pilgrim two back. Like I was on the site. I was outside of my house. Keep in mind, guys, it was like downpouring rain. Oh, yeah. Okay, but I don't get good connection in the house, so I went outside. I turned um, Wi-Fi off, so I was just connected straight, whatever. And like sitting in the rain, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, it was like a depressing movie. That's what I felt like I was in the middle of, and yeah. then just nothing was on the site. But one of the uh, Twitter accounts I follow had a direct link to them, so. Like, that made it a little bit easier. But we're not going to tell you what we got. We got something that day. Not we won't tell anyway. you what. You guys will see in the videos. But we did. We were fairly successful on the Funko Shop. Every day, except one of them, we at least got one thing. So, I'll, yeah, that could yeah be, this could be got, anything. It got crazy. Um, we have a lot of packages coming in. So, I, I just hope they come in soon. Because yeah, I want to show them to you guys. Between Catherine and I, we probably have, like, seven packages coming in the next week. So, there's going to be a lot of videos. I don't know if we're going to combine them all. Um, and there's something else I want to get into later about that, too. So, for San Diego Comic-Con overall, honestly, in my opinion, guys, I think everything that I want in the store, like Hot Topic, FYE, GameStop, what am I forgetting, Barnes Noble, I think we got just about everything in the store we wanted. Yeah, pretty much. I think so. And I, I feel like it's not usually that way, so it's, I don't know Yeah, it really is. Well, what was we also, year. like, had a different strategy this year. Normally, we'll go to Hot Topic first, but we d uh, went to Hot Topic second, and they still had everything. The people at Hot Topic were actually, like, really nice. We never go to this Hot Topic, and they were like, oh, yeah, take your time. If you don't, like, you can pick whatever box you want. Like, if this box isn't good enough, like, you like we'll check for you. Like, just, you can keep asking, like, if you want, like, to look at different boxes. And what happened at Barnes & Noble was that they would, it was so crazy in there. I'm sure you guys know if you've been there for SDCC we waited in two line uh two lines we waited for two hours in line and when we got there they had three registers and they would just pull them off the shelves and we didn't even get to like look at the box condition because you know they're just trying to well, get you out terrible, of there terrible my mind and oh. they put them in the bags and stuff and then we didn't really know until we got home we did the video on it and like we're just looking at them like before we like set up for the video and oh my goodness some of the boxes are like, well, you had that terrible oh, oh my god my yeah I think cutter. you guys saw in the video my when well, my string of things two pack it got a, one of the worst box cutters that I've ever seen. So I'm like, you got to be kidding me. But luckily, one of the Barnes & Noble's local to us still had like five or six of them in. Yeah, because we went we went again at, at like five o'clock to for you to like... Yeah, so I was able one. to get it and then bring back the other one. And then my one of my Ant-Man boxes, guys, because like I just... I had... I love Ant-Man. He's my favorite. I, I had to get... I had it. Thank God I got two of them. I honestly, like... Wasn't going to get two of any pop, just because, you know, I know everyone's trying to go for them. I want to be nice, but Ant-Man, I had to have two of. And thank God I got two, because one of the boxes was so freaking oh, bad. It, that thing was it literally was like, looked like it had been run over. I don't know how I didn't notice it. It was just so overwhelming. Well, because they the put it in the bag. And like, yeah, in, they put it right away. The bag's not like see-through or anything. They're, you can't really look. You're just ready to like go in and get out. People aren't educated on the pops either. I don't think that people, that, a lot of Barnes and Noble, they need yeah, to get out Yeah, they, they sell they books. They don't, they don't always know the pops. But um, I said Jenna say one thing earlier. He said, "Are we going to Sonic later?" Oh, I don't know. Maybe. That's a great there, idea. There might be guys a post after party, whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, we love to do that. After live the stream. stream after. After this live stream, we might have another one going to Sonic because you know we have been we've been going out to fast food a lot, but we could use it. We had that McDonald's oh, the other wait, night. Oh. Going to eat this week too. I know we. This oh, is waiting no. for this, guys. So, Kath and I went shopping on Saturday night because uh, there was no one there. It was like 10 o'clock. We're like, we'll just go get the shopping over so we don't have to do it on a busy Sunday, okay? We spent like, what, 160 on groceries between the two of us? Yeah. Okay? Was... We have a whole carload of groceries, all sorts of goodies, you know, Twinkies, you know, bananas, get a little healthy. Fruity healthy. pebbles. Uh, fruity pebbles, the... ice oh, cream, goodness. everything. Everything you could ever want, okay? So, we're on the way home. And uh, I just, I still don't know how this happened. I'm just like, you know what? We're not going to eat any of this food or cook any of this. And then we literally um, ended up at McDonald's. 
Yeah, and we got a 20 piece nugget. After a hundred good. after a hundred and sixty dollars of shopping, we ended up at McDonald's that night. So it's fine, that McDonald's was fantastic. But we also had Wendy's the other night, and that was not good. Oh my goodness, it was ice cold. I was so mad. It was it was whatever. So but we might we might follow it up with Sonic tonight. That would be very, 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 very good. So we might have to do that. Yes. So anyway. So anyway, um you know what? You guys have been very good, and you exceeded my like thing that I wrote down, as you can see there. So I think oh. we're going to do the, um, you know, we got 174 people in here, so uh, that's a lot of people. You guys are awesome. So we're going to do the giveaway, so get ready. Um, I'm I've, ready. I like it. We're going to do the first one. Yeah, you know what? You guys are just above and beyond, and I love to see a second I say giveaway, the numbers go up. Like, I don't know how, I don't know if you guys are, like, texting each other or what the heck, but somehow everybody that's not watching this somehow knows the giveaway is going to happen. So I'm going to procrastinate a little bit, as Kathy usually likes to do with her homework. So I'm going to do that with a oh. video. So I might have to wait a minute, maybe two minutes, maybe two minutes and a half, two minutes, 45 seconds. I don't know how long I have to wait for the giveaway. But I'm just going to say before, because now we got, we're going to have as many people right here, right before the giveaway, we are going to have the most amount of people in here. So I'm going to take advantage of that. Thank you, guys. Around the moon, around Krypton, around the entire Earth, and back, and over again, and back to the moon and back again. I don't know what to say, okay? I don't want to sound like a, just a broken record. We say, I know I, I say it, but you guys are amazing, okay? Jetta's in here. I'm going to thank him, too. I don't say enough. Jetta helped us out so much in the beginning of this whole YouTube thing. He contacted us. I was looking back on my screenshots the other day on my phone. We are at, like, 70 subs, and I remember getting the text from Catherine because she ran the Instagram a lot in the yeah, beginning Yeah, I used to run the Instagram. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, I kind of took over. I never used Instagram before, so... I can't keep up with... with Catherine Jennifer. was on it, and I'm at work, and she goes, Oh my God, Jetta Patrol just messaged us on Instagram. And, like, I was like, Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Yeah. So I was like, you know, we watched him forever, and then, you know, he's one of the ones that helped us, you know, um, that want, like, he inspired us to make a channel yeah, of our own. Stream, yeah, So that, I'm just saying, is how far we've come. We love all of you guys. We appreciate it. You know, couldn't be here without all of you, so... Thank you so much for 4K, okay? Yes, and thank you so much. We appreciate every single one of you, especially, you know, the day ones, the ones you just came here, all of you. So, thank you to everyone. I'll try not to say it again during the stream. Maybe one more time. You guys can give Maybe me one more, more time. You can give me one more time to say thank you before the end of it. Right? We really appreciate it. And you just, you know, we love, we love this. We were talking about this the other day, like this hobby we have, you know, whatever you want to call it. You know, it's just, it's An so, addiction. it's addiction with a fungal positive. We've, we've had, we've loved pop for so long. And like now being able to do this, it just makes it even better. And then this channel has made us go pop overload yeah, like crazy. Yeah, we buy like so many crazy. pops now because of the channel. It's we, like to show be, them. Like, because of the okay. channel, we've probably bought like at least 100 or 150 extra pops we might not have before. But yeah. you know what? It's oh part of the fun. Yolo, YOLO. Isn't that what the kids say these YOLO. days? YOLO. I can still be hip, right? I still, got, I still wear my snapbacks. I started that trend, by the way. I started that. Oh my God. That might be go. a future there giveaway go, question for another live stream is what trend did I start? So everyone watching, remember. Oh anyway, that's a good one. Little wow, Easter egg. Little 200 Easter egg. people in here. You guys are awesome. It's getting okay. crazy. That's because they know a giveaway is coming. Yep. Sorry, we haven't, sorry we haven't been be able to read the chat. I feel bad. There's a lot of people saying things. So currently collecting's in the house. Thank oh. you. We appreciate that. Anyway, so um, this first one is going to be a little bit tough. So hold on. Let me see. Oh my goodness. So, this question is very tough. You're gonna it's it's gonna Jetta sent us though for this question. Okay, so hold on. It sent these people here for this question. All right, this is gonna be a little bit tough. Are we gonna can you um are we gonna slow this down? Oh yeah, we can probably slow this down. Yeah. <laughs> Just for a second here. Yeah, before it goes, because there's gonna be people guessing a lot of things. Yeah, I'm but, not really the I don't really know. <laughs> whatever, we'll figure out. Okay, well, let's go with it. So here we go. So the first question here, and you definitely need to know your Pop Academy trivia. Um, yes, you do. Actually, Jetta's involved. Actually, Jetta, no joke. Not just because you're in here. You're actually involved. I thought these questions earlier at work today. So you're actually in this. So um, I don't think it's going to be too tough of a question, but I guess we'll just go with it and see. You had to be there in the right place at yeah, the right I time. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be something you just got off the top of your head. Anyway, so here we go. So on the San Diego Comic-Con... Give you guys a tease. All right, you ready for the giveaway? Oh my goodness, <laughs> I love teasing. Here's the giveaway question, okay? Four people. First, okay, if someone gets this, we've run into this problem before. I'm just going to say it beforehand, okay? We love you guys, but sometimes people guess at, like, the exact same time, okay? And I, I, I felt bad before when that happens. But whatever comes up on our screen first is going to be the winner. I don't think someone's going to guess it at the same time because this is a difficult question. But whatever's on our screen first, in the rare case someone guesses at the same time, right. that's who wins, yeah. okay? And we'll screenshot and everything. Here we go. People are guessing Stonekeeper. That's not right. <laughs> oh, no, that's not that's right. Not it, but okay, good so guess. I here we go. This is a little bit kind of close in one regard, but you have no Similar. idea what I'm talking about. Here we go. 
on the San Diego Comic Con, and everyone um, answering right now, those don't count. So even if you do got it, you gotta wait for the question. So, yeah, wait you know. for the question. So you yeah. know, here we go. On the San Diego Comic Con Mega Stream, the amazing time we had the other night before, about a week ago, before San Diego Comic Con, it was Wednesday night. Okay, Jetta asked me. This is me, not Catherine. He asked me. Not well, he asked both of us, but this is my answer. He asked, like right now. What would be the top grill or whatever, like, pop I would want to get? What did I answer? Go. Whoever guesses it wins the um, first um, giveaway. What, what is... Was it? Yeah. The top grill that you want right I now. I think someone already said it. Someone already said it. Someone literally got that. That was... That's crazy. Wow. Okay. That took, like, not even a second. You got this first someone... video? Yeah. All right. I don't <laughs> know how they got it so fast. Well, I wasn't even done reading the question. Wow. Man. Someone got it. J Pops is so close in oh, second. J Pops, I'm Dang, so close. J Pops, you're one away. Okay, so the winner is already lost. I'm gonna scroll right, down. On. Oh God! Oh, I'm oh, gonna try Dang it! I know who it is. All oh, right, here we go. I know what you want. I'm gonna highlight it so Kat and I both have it. Okay, so I don't. Robert, Raid, Raid Lich. Raid Lich. Lich. I don't know how to say that. You I'm have gonna one. Write <laughs> We're gonna write it down. So we'll show you guys the pod. Good job. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't... That was a tough one. J Pops, you were like you were so close. So we have um like the same throw. No, people are guessing the same comic It's not a same comic pop, it was my top grill. So it was yeah, Shazam. A, yeah. I cannot wait for the Shazam movie. And they have a Shazam pop that's worth about like $250, $300. So I just absolutely have that. So right, he said awesome things. So these are your choices. These are some of the giveaways. So we have we have two San Diego Comic Con pops that we got, and we have two other exclusives and two random comments. I've been, I have been trying to get these comments out of the collection for so long. We need space. We need space. So <laughs> I just threw them in there. So I don't know one wants to comment, but I just threw them in there. So we have a random. This is from the. This is from like the Amazon roulette because we always have a lot of leftovers. Send an R Morty if anyone wants that. We have like three of those. Um, I don't know. I think Jed is a big fan of this movie, Atomic Blonde. <laughs> so those are just the comments, kind of throwaways. Okay, we have. Some exclusives. Oh, New York Comic Con, 8-Bit <laughs> Batman. That boy's awesome. I don't know why. We tried to give away this last time and it didn't go, but this thing's awesome. So if you guys I want that, might want it. Let's that one's Robert cool wants. if you want that. Um, we have a, let's see, Glow in the Dark Reptar. So if you want that, that's, this is a very cool one. I think we also tried to give away this that's last time. That's one of my time. favorite Nickelodeon yeah. pops, honestly. I love the glow on that one. That the one's awesome. Oh, pe people are like, people are like these. And then we have two Comic Con pops. Um, so we have these we, ones we just don't collect, but we got a deal on them at Think Geek if you bought every single. Yeah, Comic so we figured I'm figuring someone here wants them, so that couldn't get their hands on them. But yeah. first one's from Overwatch. I know that's popular. That's Soldier Seventy Six. Okay, this is like the a oh, minty, fresh, crisp box. Okay, like feeling it. <laughs> you know, now you have not... now you have my DNA on oh it my too. God. So like that, it's so crispy, mintiness. So we have this. Okay, so that's that and then we have another one this is this is actually a cool pop i kind of didn't want to give this away because it's kind of cool but i don't play it but i don't play I, it either but it's from destiny and that's sweeper bot so that's the other new york comic con one and this is also crispy mintiness so these are all the options um for the winners so there'll be a couple winners don't yeah, worry so, don't so if you didn't get them we are we will right. definitely 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 do another giveaway we have a soon couple harder so questions but we're not going to tell you we're not going to tell you what that is so robert um wherever you are man um what one would you like and we will take it out I don't know if he said The Reptar is exclusive to Entertainment Earth, for those that are asking. And when you do pick your pop, uh, don't forget to... He said he wants the sweeper bot. Awesome. Yeah. So don't forget to message oh, us. I like that one! No, don't forget kidding. to message us on Instagram so, you know, we get we get in contact with you. All right. Sweeper bot. Sweeper bot is off the table. So... Uh, can't do that. Sorry. <laughs> Phone's popping up messages. So, sweeper bot is gone, guys. He's so cute, too, but Robert, congrats. <laughs> I don't... I don't really know... Like... Telepathy or whatever, you literally answer that like before I finish the sentence. I know, so that's kind of crazy. You must have been in the stream or you're just really, really lucky. I don't know. But, um, all right, so these five are still up for grabs, guys. I'm going to get them out of the frame a little bit here. Just if you don't have Instagram, you can message us on Twitter. You can yeah, whatever us you on. want. Just, you can email us. We have our email in our. We'll, um, we'll get those shipped out tomorrow, too. Luckily, Kath and I have the day off. So we'll get up bright and early, 7 a.m., get to the post office. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, Instagram, Twitter, or our email, which is popacademy12 at gmail.com, in the link of um description of every single one of our videos so just let us know on one of those so what's going on in the chat guys we'll try to read a few of these because um you know we haven't been keeping up with you guys you guys are like going like crazy so yeah, you guys are going nuts what did you guys think of the fun days reveals from like a bus like oh a bus. boy so actually that was one of the things we had um written down here to talk about was the fun days reveals 
So, Sunday. first of all, let's talk about this. Let's segue from that question. What about that mystery locker, guys? Oh, is that how cool is that? Yeah, that was amazing. When that first got like posted, like you could, uh, what was it like when it first went live? Whatever, we were so confused at first. Remember, we were well, like, should we buy we, it? We like... saw a tweet or something, and then they said, like, I was on the site and I was like, what do you mean, code? And then the code came out. What was the code? The password was radical, yeah. and that was how you got into the site to be able to buy it, which was kind of cool. I feel like Funko should do that more often. I feel like that might deter the bots for a little bit. Yeah, but, um... that was cool. And there was, there was a lot of them up, but um, I didn't really know what. And then we were like, oh, should we get it? But we did get one, guys, so don't worry. That's oh, going to yeah. be crazy. We will have a video on that. And I mean, it's so exciting. There's so many different pops you can get I, in that thing. I really, well, yeah, I love, I don't really have any, we only have one Freddy Funko. I really do love the Freddy Funkos. I want some more of the variants of that I want. There's like a Superman one, there's a Power Ranger one. But that pen, not, not that you can get in the mystery locker, just ones they've made. But in that mystery locker, you can get that Pennywise Freddy. You can get so many. You can get the oh. Steve from Stranger Things Freddy, the, the Pennywise real one, one. there's the Dustin. Yeah, like the, some of the Stranger Things ones, which I'm not too, I'm like, eh, about. Um, I'm trying to think what else though they had. They have uh, they have those like Chrome Freddies. Those would be kind of cool. I'd like one of those. There's like a bunch of stuff. So like that's crazy, but tons of those. Will we get? Hopefully that comes in soon. We will do a video. It's gonna get like it's gonna be like Toy USA level of hype for us. You know, yeah, get, it's gonna be a fun time. Stomach's gonna drop. No McDonald's beforehand, guys. Definitely for now. But as far as the announcements, I mean. Now, there we go. Let's get heated in the chat, guys. If you guys want to see some bickering between Catherine and Ryan, you know, oh, behind God. the camera stuff that happened. Oh, God. She is, does not, here you go. I'm, this chat's going to roast you. Go ahead, she doesn't that. like the new Stranger Things wave. I'll she tell doesn't you like it. I'll put tell her on you blast, why. guys. Put her on blast. I'll tell you Let me tell you guys something. So, the Stranger Things wave, okay? For I love Stranger Things, I love the show. I love the first few lines of pops they came out with. I like the different variants when they make sense. I think that, I mean, it makes sense for Funko to do this, but they over, they just make so many. Explain make, yourself. Why? Make, what? Okay, what? Hold on. Why? Hold on. Explain yourself. Hold on. I'll explain it because there's two, oh, there's see, two people answers. Are saying they're great. People are saying they're great. There's two answers. They are making so many of those. And I'm surprised you're not mad about it because you're a completionist. You will never, ever, 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 oh, ever, 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 ever complete Don't you do it. How dare you say no, that? My fault. I got okay. One it's thing about me, fault. guys, is when I get challenged, I always, it always, I God, always win. Challenge. This, this I will get the gold hopper. No, no, this is what happened. Jetta will hook me up. This is what happened in fun days. They came out with the gold. I don't know. For those of you that don't know, they came out with a gold hopper that's only forty pieces. Why would they do that? Why even make a gold chrome hopper? What is the relevance to that? And Stranger because things? When, None. when I'm a millionaire, None. I can buy that. No, and then the chips, the not chips, Ahoy, the Hoya. The Hoya one. The Hoya ones are you're so cool. Where are you gonna get the Hoya? They're not that much. Where I think, I think on the... eBay they were going for like four hundred between the two. Oh, okay, yeah. That's, that's not out of hand. Like, that's not out of hand. That's not what collectors should have to do to complete like the Stranger Things set. Like I get that, but I kind of just—it's not that I—I I still like the Stranger Things pops. I mean, we have like a ton of them right behind us. But I'm just saying the like. They just make them impossible, and they make way too many different variants. I like it when collections have small, like for example, Friends. Perfect. They have all the big. No, that's characters. only six. That's Listen, no fun. They have six no. Of them and then they're coming out with the new ones that's that true. are going to have that's so true. many cool variants. And I'll get those. But like, if they keep making those down the line, they're just going to get boring to me. And it's like we're already running out of space. I just like the smaller, like basic characters, then get the cooler ones. Like even Rick and Morty sometimes overdoes it. But I don't know. That's just what I think about Stranger Things ones. I still think they're good, but it's like don't make so many of them. I will say there's a lot of people that are saying they agree with you and that is too many pops so my rebuttal okay big word here guys at the academy and they're all, all of them are commons too i mean the stranger things is so popular if mungo knows I, that they can make that. so many of these okay i get that and but like it is tough being a completionist but i would rather have too many stranger things pops than not enough i don't okay, care if it's a right, weak argument but like for example fine. my smallville they finally came out with smallville pops and there's only five and i'm like oh I'm like, I need more Smallville Pops. There's only five. I'm like, it's like, they tease you. It's like, you go out for ice cream and you get, you know, I need three or four scoops at least, maybe five. And they only give me like two scoops. What the heck, man? Now where's my other scoop? That's like the pop. Okay. That's like the pop. Okay. okay. It's like, you know, it's like ice cream and pop. It's the same thing. So there is a ton of Stranger Things ones, but I just love the idea of having like a wall of just a hundred Stranger Things pops. I have a whole set of like my Power Rangers. I have literally almost every single Power Ranger pop that's ever come out. I'll get all the new ones, and it looks so they, they cool together. They kind of Power Rangers too. A lot of people have said that, but the thing is, like the way I collect compared to you is that like I'll collect ones that 
I'm not, I'm not, that sounds too like basic. I just collect the ones that I really, really want. Like I won't like you like to get like commons that like you're not like you're not even like that crazy, but you just like it to have it. I just collection. like having a lot of pops. See, like yeah. I don't like that because I like to have like I kind of like this. I'm just trying to like the smaller collection because I have we have way too many pops. Guys, nope, we can't be we can't be saying that. I mean, I, we definitely have too many, and we definitely we we pick like our first year was really good. Like year from like the beginning, the first year, whatever. I don't know why I'm making it difficult to say. I'd say we were at like a hundred, so it wasn't out of hand. No, but yeah, it was like, I know. But then it just from year one to year two, and then year two to year three. Like I'm not kidding. Since January, we must have bought at least a few hundred pops just from January. Maybe like two fifty, three hundred. The worst part is we will buy. Well, it's mostly. I feel like it's mostly you, but it is me sometimes. We will buy anything that we like, even like a little bit. We'll even buy things that like like we don't even watch, but if it's a cool looking yeah. pop, we'll like, be like oh my exactly. god, yeah. For get example, it. even the Dragon Ball Z ones. Yeah, exactly. For example, like um, Teen Titans Go. I love DC, and there's so many DC pops. I want to finish all the DC pops. I know it's impossible, but one day, one day I will. Okay, <laughs> Teen Titans Go. I've never watched. I will see the new movie though. Oh, I'm so and excited for that. I'm movie. excited for that movie. Though. It's supposed to be pretty good. The reviews are good. Yeah, we have tickets. Yeah, we already yeah we got get AMC A list for all you people that don't have it. It's an amazing deal. We got that we see so many movies now anyway like the dt Titans go pops i started getting them when like a few of the toys exclusives came out like two years ago and then it's like i'm a completionist so then i get a few and it's like i either have like just one pop randomly from a set and then none of the others are like i get a few and then i gotta go for everything so that happened and then i started getting like all the teen titans go ones and like i don't even watch that so that's what kind of happens and also like we watched in the barnes and noble like a month ago and there was an Arctic fox or the Crystal Fox. Oh, yeah. It called, doesn't even like from Star Wars. I don't like Star Wars. And I'm like, that thing, it's so cute. We got to get it for Bobo and my camp. And I'm like, we're buying that Crystal Fox right away. And I love that pop. One of my favorites of this year. I don't even like Star Wars. Like, that's what happens is at the beginning, I just collected things I liked, like Donna Justice, BB, BBS, Suicide Squad, now you know, the Wonder Woman one, seen. Man of Steel, all those things, Marvel and Civil War when we got into it. But now it's like, I just see something. I'm like, ooh, that makes for a cool pop. Let's get it. So that's just kind of what happened. That kind of that kind of happened with San Diego Comic Con is oh, like my there was goodness. ones that we were kind of like ooh like like that Broly. My buddy's a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, so he kind of hyped it up. But I'm like ooh, you know what? That's kind of a cool looking pop. I'm like, why not? I'll just get it. And like you know, a year ago I wouldn't have done that, but now I'm just getting it because I'm like it's a cool pop. It's, and I'm not. I really like the um dead Yam Yamacha Yama. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that we didn't get that one. That yeah, one's so cool. I, I was so close to getting that one because I thought it was a really cool pop. I don't even know like Dragon Ball Z at all, but I still thought it was a cool pop. But so, um, back that, on, should we like talk about the releases again? Like the yeah, we sorry, we, we side tried guys we, we side a little wait, bickering, yeah. a little bickering. But the Stranger Things wave, I mean, hold on, I got it right here. I'm on Nerd Therapy's Twitter, so I got they got all the pictures. I, I love them. I love that. Yeah, I got so. Let's see. Um, I'm loving the ten inch um Demogorgon. We got a three inch one, a six inch one, and ten inch one. Sorry if that sounds bad. Um, but I'm very excited for the Demogorgon. And then we have what? What the heck are those? What are those? <laughs> oh, I five love. star. Okay, eh. There's a cool vinyl coming. No. And then the, the movie moments are oh, really look, do cool. Oh, you need another hopper? Because they're coming out with another hopper. <laughs> there's only, like, there's only, what, three hoppers right now? And then the chase hopper. I don't there's know. chase I'm hopper, normal hopper, joking. and then the jungle hopper. But I'm saying, I'm loving what they're doing. The, well, this isn't a movie moment because it's a TV show. But I'm loving the moments from the pops. And then that's Steve versus the um, Demo, Demo Dog Demodog. or whatever. And then the 11 from season one, the Demogorg can go like that. Wait, those are very cool. that movie moment... They literally made that in a loot crate box. Yeah, do you remember Smaller. that? Yeah, I, I know. Totally it looks it looked like that. a pop wow. already, and then that, that's kind of cool. But um, and then the other big one that they announced was the Fortnite thing. I, I've seen a lot of comments about that. The Fortnite pop. That's oh for my you, goodness. not for me. See, I play Fortnite, but you're gonna have to hard pass on all those. To be honest. Oh my! I said I said Jungle Hop. Well, he's got the vines <laughs> on it. I know. I know he's down in like the um. Upside down or whatever. I, I love Stranger Things, but yeah, the Jungle Hopper. Jungle. That's a new thing. That's yeah, good. Hazmat Hopper. Thank you, Rob. Oh, they have Hazmat too. So that's, there's they four have so hoppers. many. There's not that many. Look at 11. They have like 60,000 11. There's like so many 11s. Exactly, though. You just proved my point. Um, let's see. What else? What else do we I want have more here? Jonathans. He's my boy. We only have one Jonathan. Ooh, I want to talk about one. How about the Nickelodeon Pops, guys? I want the, What's the dog's Pops. name from Margaret's? Oh my goodness. Reptar? Spike. 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 I know not Nickelodeon. Reptar, not Reptar. Those Nickelodeon pops are pretty cool. I don't know if I'd get those because I don't have any room, but I'd love to get the um, exclusive Hey Arnold ones with the uh, banana and the strawberry costumes because I remember that episode and it was a really funny one. And the Thornberry ones. Oh yeah, I might have to... They're making a Nigel Thornberry pop. I mean, that's legendary. Uh, I might uh, have I to will get... get... And then Danny or whatever his and name is. And I hope is, that the crazy Spike kid. is flocked. That'd be, amazing. That'd be a cool one. They definitely need to. They need to do more. Of those yeah, they around. definitely need to make no, more um, Nickelodeon ones, like more lines. Like they already have Rugrats. Maybe it's like something with licensing. But I do like how they're doing like the older Nickelodeon. 
one. Someone commented they need to make Rocket Power. They need they need to make oh. Rocket Power. Ooh. They need to make Danny Phantom. Yep. You really want Avatar. I didn't watch that See, much Avatar. I love Avatar. So. Avatar. I love, love, love. That would be such a successful line. Uh, Funko has to get on that. I think, they, weren't they talking about those anyways? Like, isn't that like, wasn't it like rumored or like it was confirmed by Funko that they're making those? Which one? Avatar. I, th- I, th- I think they I will. Th- I, I mean, they, I they, bring, they bring it up a lot and uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just wicked hyped. About the Pokemon Pop. I don't want to bring that up. I know we're not going to go off. We're only talking about it for a minute. But like, that's been rumored forever. And that's just Pikachu's coming out on what? What's today? The 23rd or something? 22nd? Um, a few days, right? I think it's coming out July 29th. So that's, I'm going to be at Target when and they you know open what? probably I'm before. So I know we always talk about the Pokemon Pops, but I'm actually very excited that they like made so many of them because they know that they're going to like. They crazy, can right? make they can make five hundred Pokemon pops and I will buy two of each. I, I kind of want to buy two of each just to take one out of the box. Oh, absolutely, Pikachu! I love Pikachu pops out of the box. I'm no flipper. Don't worry. I see a flipper and I go and I go up to that pop and I go bam! I go bam! <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna ruin you your pop, you flipper! Now you can't sell it, you flipper! That's what I do. So I'm no flipper, but I'm getting a Pikachu. What? what <laughs> so I'm getting I'm getting the oh, Pikachu yeah. pop for the box and I'm getting a Pikachu pop out of the box. And put it in the car. Put it in the car. Yeah, Bobble's new friend. I freaking love Bobble Pikachu. Coming. I love Pokemon. I've been a huge Pokemon fanatic since the beginning. Yeah, get Bobbo down. Yeah, okay? yeah, we need Bobbo. Bobbo, we well, can come down in a little bit. Bobbo, how you doing tonight, Bobbo? How you doing? Say hi to everyone, Bobbo. You haven't you haven't come up at all. He's been. Uh, if you guys don't know, actually, we'll give you some more behind the scenes action because you don't know really, we don't really bring Bobble the secret along, life for a while. the secret life of Pop Academy. So yes. we've gone on a few really fun trips lately. You know, either Comic Con, went to New York Road a few trip. times. He came to New York the first time. Went to New York. Went to Krispy Kreme. But no, he didn't come to Krispy Kreme. But did he? No, he didn't. And then we went to Maine. <laughs> so I forget what he came to and what he did. But he has been a bad freaking boy. Bad Bobo. Bad. It's going to get weird here, guys. Bad Bobo. Bad. It is bad. <laughs> bad. 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 It's going to get weird here, guys. Oh you should see where the camera's not rolling out oh weird it gets. Anyway, well, wow, that was weird. So, Bobo is bad. Bobo, are you ready for this, guys? Okay. He bit the dog. He did. I'm not kidding. I know everyone's like, it's just a pop. These, I know you like Pop Academy. Like, they're freaked. I need to leave this live stream. What the heck's going Wait, on what's here? What that comment said? Uh, what yeah. is wrong? Where did your life go wrong? But Someone comes, that's, that's what we had. Where did my life go wrong? He was a bad boy. <laughs> So that's where Bob has been, but he's better now. Yeah, he's a coach. Yeah, where Bob was, but he's just been grounded. That's all. So don't worry. Rob about Molina he's knows what's grounded. up. Bob was short, but bad boy. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Rob Molina, oh, oh, amazing comments. I can't say enough. He always every com- every time is always something. It's just amazing. But um, so <laughs> and you not to get too. Oh, what did they say? <laughs> Call Bobo Pe- Peta. 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 So that's just that. But um. Oh, oh one thing I definitely want to, we keep going, I, I'm sorry, we keep segueing into other things. We do this all the time. We'll and don't worry, we things. understand, we understand. We'll get, the give, the next giveaway is yeah, coming no up, worry. don't worry. We've don't been, worry. we've been going off, it's coming up. But, here we go. So, someone said they should make Pop, Funko Pop Academy Pop. That would oh, be cool. That would be a cool they custom. They should make, we could cut, we should If I had more time on my hands, I'd make a custom yeah. one. Well, I don't know if of us, though. Maybe of someone else. But, um, so, we want to, we want to say one thing before we forget. So, I don't even know how many of you guys are going, how many of you guys are going to be in the area, but we want to just let everyone know, because we haven't really, I think we made an Instagram post about it, but while we got, you know, about a little less than 200 people here, if anyone's going, make sure to hit us up. We, not only will we be going to Boston Comic Con next like month. every year. We go there every year. I don't know how much people in the Boston area, that's our local area. We will definitely be going to Boston Comic Con, maybe a few days, maybe one day, not sure yet. But we also got wicked lucky, guys, and we got tickets, scored tickets to New York Comic Con. Woo! We are like so excited. Don't know how we're gonna be able to afford it. We're gonna have to like really save up the next few months for oh we're, we're gonna be buying so much. But we will be at New York Comic Con. It's going to be wild. I've been wanting to go for the last like four or five years. Never got around to it. If we somehow get in the Funko lottery and get to That'd go to the booth. Insane. The That's world insane. will split. I, what, what if like one of us gets in and the other doesn't? That's for, no, honestly, even if just one of us, because then like I can get you can get the oh, ones true. I want, vice yeah, versa, and then we can still kind of like that go together. I would just love. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Jetta just said they just announced the ten inch Mickey coming to Target. Mickey like like normal Mickey, or is it like the Kingdom Hearts Mickey? I'm just curious. That's all, oh, that's all, yeah. I saw, I saw people saying Mickey and Target in the yeah, chat, but I wasn't so sure. confused. That's awesome. We're out of the loop. We're on live. We're live. We're out we're of the not, loop. Yeah. Thank you, Jetta, for the heads up. All right, so that's cool. It's a lot of... Oh, normal Mickey? That's, that's cool. That's the interesting. Only, that's um, kind of cool to have out of the box, I think. The only, um... 
The only ten inch pop we're missing right now is Dobby. Adobe. Is he is he ten inches? Yeah, well he's like a weird box though. I saw that. I saw Top Pop. Is he Top Pop Box? Man. That came terrible. Terrible. I felt so bad for Tristan. That was awful. But honestly, from Target, I hate to say it, that was a pretty good box. Because Target we've gotten a few questionable boxes. Yeah, I don't know. Target just doesn't yeah. Nothing beats the time though that we bought a pop off of eBay and it came in a Keurig cake box. Wasn't it that or something? Or something weird. That was a bad But that's awesome. Um Speaking of the tennis pops, though, my Ultra Zord guys, oh. that Power Rangers wave. Oh, yeah. That, I will literally be also at Target like two hours before opening. I don't care. I want, I have, I have to have one out of, I have to have, I have to have like that 10 insane. out of the box, one in the box. I need like a ton of those. I just, I think it's insane. I love Power Rangers from like the very get go. So I just, I have to have, I'm speechless about that one. So, absolutely amazing. But anyway, people were asking, we will be going to New York Comic Con on the Saturday. So that's the day. I think tickets are still available for Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, I believe. Saturday, I know, sold out. So we definitely are going Saturday. Don't know if we're going to go on any other days yet. We're still trying to figure out. But we'll definitely be there Saturday. If any of you guys are going, hit us up. We will be there. We'll be like, we're just going to be so be lost. Crazy. We're going to be going, we're going to be jumping up and down. We're going to be like eating ice we'll cream. Try to. There's always a lot of people that go there. And we're kind of just like, we're just, yeah, yeah we, um, crazy there. Um, we, when, when we go to Boston Comic Con, which is like so low key, it's not low key, but there's a lot going on, but, um, we're overwhelmed there. So New York Comic Con, which is like probably the that, second best con. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be insane. Just that, going there alone, like without buying anything, is going to be crazy. So I don't know what we're going to do. Funko is going to be there and Funko. Just seeing Funko from a distance, I'm going to be, we're going to be like bowing We're going to be bowing. And they hate me because I'm always, I'm always <laughs> roasting them on Twitter. Every yeah, time they, they tweet something, uh, I... I respond. I they're they always fix a lot of you. What if they like see your name or like you have no, to put your name no. and then they see it and they're like, not this kid. Not this kid. Yeah, they, I get them so going. I always, I, I just troll them. Like they, they posted something the other day. I was like still waiting on my Toucan Sam because I'm still complaining about that from like oh, like two goodness. months ago from the 504 era. That was sad. That Toucan sad, Sam went way up. I was looking at Stash P Day today at work. I was really bored. And that's up to like 2.30. Do you know that? Oh, I know. All the cereal ones get so... The they, icon. Well, they make them limited too. So that's another thing. It's like, that's... Oh my goodness. I'm still mad about the look Tony what, the Tiger. I'll look what that. Rob said. A 10 inch Harry Styles would wow. be awesome. Woo! Yeah, guys. I know some people have been coming. I got my one direct direction shirt on i was gonna represent today is eight years of one direction what better way to um i actually got i actually i actually was a one direction fan before kath and i was i was a big one direction fan uh, fan girl fan boy rather um that was weird but um and i got kath and she hated one direction i was like I used, you gotta yeah. embrace the love one direction is the best it's pretty good though i won't lie they have I, some got, I got into they'll it they'll come back one day hopefully and so. then they laughed once they got into it so yeah that was happens. sad so yeah um, better rock, rock that but um yeah, so you can the add icons pop guys. Those those new ones, the um, oh which ones did you like? Pillsbury Doughboy. That Pillsbury Doughboy. I still think is he's mine. real. I will get that Pillsbury Doughboy. I remember like I'd always watch those commercials when I was little, like you know, like the funny ones where like he can't find his pants or whatever, like that like funny one. He's such a funny little character, and I love Pillsbury cookies, so I need that one. That one I will like if I ha if I don't get it, I'll pay whatever amount of money I need to get it. That's how much I love that one. No, so there's a cool one of the ones that you got. They have Twinkie, have... Twinkie the Kid, the glow in the dark Twinkie guy. You love Twinkies, so you'll probably want that one. I'll probably still want to get that one just because it's like Hostess, so that's like a cool one. I want that Jolly Bee, the one from that other country, because it just looks cute. I don't even know what it is. Do you know that thing I'm Wait, talking about? Jolly? Oh, the yeah. Weird, like, the, I don't know what a Jolly Bee like, is. But... Oh, you know what else? The Honey Nut Cheerios Bee, isn't that? That was coming too. Right? Wasn't that yes, on yes, 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 that is. So on don't, it's on the... oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, there, there it, is. it is. What's the cookie from? I don't know what that's from. What's the King cookie thing? Does anyone yeah, know? We have the King picture. Cookie thing from? There's Pillsbury Doughboy, there's Cheerio, and then there's like a Whoopie Pie with a mustache. Yeah, and the um, Sugar Bear. I want that one too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so he said, they said Jolly Bee is from the Philippines. Oh, so yeah. okay, yeah. If anyone's yeah. in the Philippines and wants to hook Pop Academy up, we will love you forever. <laughs> I want that Pop. Bazooka Joe, I actually want that one too. I know that's not kind of like a low key one. And of course, Captain Crunch. Oh my goodness. So Captain Crunch, Sugar Bear, um, that's a Domino's guy, right? The the what's it called? The Nose? Noid, Noid or whatever. Yeah. What is what? I eat Domino's more than anybody. I got <laughs> Domino's. Never seen that what bit. the heck is annoyed? What are they doing? Like Funko, Funko trolls us, man. Like they don't care. They're just yeah, like, they here's all the fans. We're gonna troll you. What the heck is annoyed? And uh, and I'm still not over. I don't care. I've already gone off about it three times on Jenna's live stream on one of our videos, and I went off on another video about it. What was with the Crunchberry Beast? <laughs> Give us Captain Crunch! Why? How? That, I'm freaking out! That Crunchberry oh. Beast was quite the fan. What are they doing? Why would you? You, you San Diego Comic Con, literally Christmas. 
for Funko freaking Pops. And you release ad icons are like the biggest thing in the Funko community. People love them. You release Crunchberry Beast. The thing is so weird looking. It's got like a little yeah, weird thing. It has like a mushroom haircut. Like it's like a like a a freaking, I almost f bomb. It's got freaking chicken pox all over it or whatever it is. <laughs> what is a Crunchberry beast? beast? What is it? So, but yes, um. I don't know what that what that person's name is, but yes, it will be to Target. So I don't know. It could be. I don't know what's worse, having Captain Crunch on Funko, the Funko shop, or Target. So I don't know. I feel like Target no, might be better. I but yeah. Target is like, it's like a like not a maze. Well, it's like a tra- you, What do I what am I trying to say? It's like you have to go through uh, yeah, it's a tons hassle. of hoops it's a hassle. just to get one pop. It's crazy. You can't just walk in and find it on the shelf anymore. All you see on the shelves are the commons that no one's wanted for the last like six months that they'll just end up clearancing anyways. And then you have to like ask like six different employees just to get your hands on one pop. And you don't even know if the box is going to be good or not. It's and so if true. it isn't, that's too bad because Target doesn't care. <laughs> Target doesn't care if you No, I do, even with like the 10-inch T-Rex, which is one of my favorite 10-inch pops for sure. I pro- it honestly too. probably will. No, that one wasn't hard but that wasn't hard they went, literally went some sketchy, they like, literally told us they had it on the phone and then i went in like five minutes later i went there quick and they're like we don't have it and they literally had like five in the back <laughs> and the guy was like there's literally nothing here like two different people so that's trying to lie so this target just i understand target's a big store they got a, they got a lot of people working there and there's bound to be a few collectors of people that can just flip them that know aren't, yeah that's thing. even people that but aren't just collectors annoying. know that but I, I don't think we're gonna have face issues with pikachu just because there's so many of them they're making are they making like over fifty thousand of them or something yeah like forty five thousand, something like that so that's we'll way be, more than that normal. that'll be good because then i don't know you don't have to be stressed out about not getting it because that's like the sad part when when they come out with like a really cool pop and then you just know that there's a good chance you won't get it yeah like the target ones like some of you guys have been so generous to us and you, you guys sent us a few of the target pots we yes. missed so you got we got really lucky on those but some of them we just never saw like yeah. we had we had iron spider the lights get sent to us which is one of my favorites actually oh. we, he's so cool i actually oh, allowed captain to, i actually allowed captain to take him out of the box yeah, he's i've that never cool. seen this because I, I mean i take some pops out of the box but like not like, like i don't know not all of them but this one had like feel like elastic like yeah to hold rubber them in. bands like to hold them in but he's so cool i love the legs that's an amazing oh, pop. it's just such a so, cool pop there's a lot to it yeah, for example, so that we never saw that in one target ever. Never. We never saw that one. Never saw any of the mermaid deadpools. Never saw any of the Elastigirls. Never saw the fire Jack Jack. Never saw the um I think we eventually saw the Jurassic Park one holding a little egg, but that took forever. So we never see them. And I'm not kidding, guys. Like, we literally go to Target all the time. Like, we go to Target late night runs. We go in the morning. We go in the afternoon at all times. Yes. We go to different Targets. It's just... And I used to have a buddy that worked there, so we had a um, connection, but whatever. So people are well, saying... yeah, but I'm now gonna, we don't fit Funko. People are saying they're going to apply there for um, Pop. So that's they're like... What? They're gonna oh. they're gonna apply that for the month, which yeah, I, I mean, it's honestly, a good idea. I might get like one thing. shift a week. Why not make a little extra cash? Be able to get all the pops because it. They, I don't know what Funko's doing. I mean, the the shipping is terrible, and then it's like getting them in the store, like get them to a good store, like Hot Topic. They do really good with them. Okay, in my experience. Hot Topic is great. GameStop does Topic. decent. They do pretty good. Barnes and Noble isn't terrible either. So it's like, why the heck is Funko giving Target all yeah, the great pops? Yeah, there must be like some kind of like good like deal between the two of them or something because they're giving them a lot of. They're good getting, ones. They're getting Pokemon. They're getting that freaking all that that power inch. They're getting all the ten inch pops, which is weird. I don't know. I mean, it's just strange. So. Yeah. I wonder if we're ever... Are we going to start seeing 10-inch pops outside of Target? Do you think, like... Do you think they'll ever just make a common 10-inch so. deadline? I think deadline? they will, yeah. I feel like they will. Yeah, I don't know. I just remember that... It's not impossible. I'm so, sure they will. Well, they made... They used to make, like, the... um Like, they had a 9-inch Batman. They had the big buzz. So, they did have, like... Yeah, they have them in the past. Like, just for fun. So, I'm sure they, they're going to make them, like, in the future. For, yeah. That aren't exclusives, but... But, um... All right, you guys. You guys have been struggling. Listen to us bat- go on and on forever. So, you guys want to do the next giveaway? So, let's see. We'll see. I want to see if it goes up or not. It's, last time it went up like 20 people in the giveaway. I, don't, I still don't know how that happens, but oh, we know. will do the next one. I just uh, We have a few questions written down, so I'm going to ask Kath oh, which one. Oh, which one we should do? I think um, that's a little... This one's tough. That's, that one's not that hard if you if they watch the video. You want to just really do that hard. one? Just, just, want, yeah. just leave that? Okay. Yeah, let's right. do that one. All right, guys. So... You guys ready for the next giveaway? Maybe can we? Maybe we should just say it before all these other people get in here because you know whatever. So anyway, let's get into it. So here we go. Giveaway number two. We have um, a Rick and Morty comment, Atomic Pond, Blonde comment, and then we have the Entertainment Earth uh, Reptar. We have Eight Bit Batman, and we have Soldier the 76. the one that, we have the one other San Diego Comic Con. So yeah. the Sweeper Bot is gone. Can't get that. We have those other ones. So that's what's up. Here we go. Good luck to everybody. 
Once again, if you know your Pop Academy trivia, because I'm hoping maybe we'll make a Trivial Pursuit someday. Pop yeah, Academy. that'd be fun. If you know it, you will know. If you, It's not that hard, so but here we go. But you also, wait, before I say this, you also have to answer the question very carefully. Yeah. Don't just, like, yell out the answer because you need to get it pretty specific. Not like, yeah. not like to the T, but you need to get like a few other things. We'll explain once we ask the question. Just yeah, I can't, we attention. can't give away, but you have to get like, it's, you can't, it's, I can't, I can't give it away without saying. So you, you have to get it like pretty much exactly. So anyway, um, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Question. Ding, ding, ding. All right. About one month, one month and a half ago, Catherine and I went to the flea market for the very first time and Catherine bought a grail at the flea market. The more expensive grill, because you're telling me about two. So the one yes. that's like very, the more the, expensive one. What was it? What was it? And what was the variant? You need to and have, you can't just say the And we character. already have a winner, I think. I that's, think I see that. Yeah, is that one? <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys are crazy. You see it, the one I did? I saw it. Wait, this let me one? see. Yeah, yep, I saw How? it. How? Rob freaking <laughs> Molina, man. Oh my God. How did you get that? Didn't even have to wait a minute. Once I know. Again, I didn't even. You guys know your. All right. We, I'm bound. Bow to them. Bow to them, Catherine. We, we got it. You guys, to... we're not worthy. You guys, Christ. I didn't even have to finish the sentence. Yeah, we need to give you guys harder questions. Rob that Molina. Was be pretty high. Congrats. People, Literally, you know. it was, it was, uh, Beat up Jesse. I think he said battle damage. That's fine. Yeah, beat up Jesse. Line, as long as you get like the variant plus the character, you got it. So that's great. God, he got that quick. God, wow. you guys know your Pop Academy. That that's I didn't think I, that's like not that easy either. So you guys remember. So awesome. yeah, you have Rob to have Molina, watch like, the whole video. Congratulations, you have won. So let's see. We have, as we said, Atomic Blonde. We have Eight Bit Batman. We have. Reptar from Entertainment Earth, and we have the Overwatch one. So any of those five, whatever you would like. So whichever one, it's your choice. Your pick. I can't really see them. All. Hold on. Oh, and there's a Rick and Morty. Sorry, Bob was sitting on the Rick and Morty one. There's also this one. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. How many Breaking Bad pops do you have? I have a couple. I have the Hazmat Walter White, not like the most expensive one. I I kind of like the, not the glow one. I really want that Good one. Say goodbye to Reptar. Oh. Oh. Bye Reptar. Rob one Molina, of my Rob Molina, Reptar. you got Reptar's coming oh, on to you. Such a cool one. That's a great pick. Um, I also have uh the Common Jesse, the Walter White, um, like in his underwear, or whatever one that is, like he's holding the gun. And then I have Beat Up Jesse. And then I'm trying to think. I think that's about it for right now. I'm actually looking at them now. Yeah, that's about it. But I I love that line. That's another. And you were one talking I... about maybe trading or getting rid of some of your yeah, breaking bad ones. Yeah, I was thinking about trading them. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna I don't, do. Yet. Those are I tough like to, to get. I like to condense but... the collection a little bit. But I'm kind of trying to that that beat up Jesse. It's like I'm actually gonna grab it because it's right there. Like that beat up Jesse. I love that pop. No, it's, it's like, a cool pop. I know. I'd never get rid of that one. I no, never, but it's like never. It's the original sticker too, and everything, and it's only there's only twenty five hundred of these. Yeah, see, I like I like it in the older Funko, um, like San Diego Comic Con exclusives because they made like they didn't make as many back then, so it's just cooler to have like a select like like I don't know. This is that's some like our Joker. This is some pops too. I could never get rid of no matter what. I guess that's that. I feel like that's definitely one of them for yours because I was like. This you... pop, I'm ne I was so excited for this. Like, I was, like, this flea market we go to, if you guys don't know, um, has tons of grails like this and, like, tons. Like, oh, my goodness. Oh, it was crazy. And I saw this one, and then I also had the blue crystal Heisenberg, which I really want. That's one of my top wants still. And um, I think oh, they had, cool. then they also had one of the hazmat suits. It's, like, around $100, I think, like, the, one of the Walter, I think it was Walter White, but he didn't have it, like, in his store. But... I just kept, I asked to look at it, and I was like, no, I have to get this one. Oh, my goodness. I'm so glad I got that one. But, um, yeah, people are asking. So, it's the random flea market. If you guys are wondering, oh, you, got, you kind of have to yes. be in this area. But, honestly, even if you're, like, an hour away from it, it's in random, of course, random flea yeah. market. It's worth going and, to. Like, and there's, um, there's two, like, really good shops in there, and one of them actually has an online site. So, you can order on the site and pick it up at the um yeah if, we'll place. get That's if anyone if anyone's interested in going just message us on instagram or twitter or something and we'll get the name i i, I don't know the name off the top of my head but we can figure it out sarah, the sarah nathan oh you know what yeah Never mind, Catherine. So if you got, the, the card's like somewhere over there yeah, yeah but, so there's a pop shop called sarah and is it nathan and sarah sarah, uh, sarah nathan nathan and yeah. sarah's um pop shop so, they have like they'll have like um grails on their site their prices are pretty close to stash pdn um, they're no they're, they're very fair they're, prices they're fair prices for like anywhere else you'd find them like yeah. on ebay like i got so it's the, not like you're paying like stream flipper like you would at comic-con i picked up the thor mm -hmm. from avengers like the first avengers which is worth about 25 30 i think they were selling for 25 so it was like on the low end and then um, everything else we got, and they have a huge clearance section of pops, and they sell. They have a ton of commons. Yeah, at, you I got know, like Chivas. a good deal on um the Adventure Time commons. Um, they're only like I don't know the basic prices. 
But um, it's definitely worth checking out if anyone's in the area. I know we, everyone else that's not around. Yeah, here, we've gone it. like the first time we saw it, we went like a few weeks after that. But right now we're trying to save up money, so we haven't been no, going if, 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 shopping if lately. All these cons, yeah, if Boston Comic Con in New York, and then also obviously San Diego. We'd be there probably like a few weekends yeah, up time, it's, but it's a good we have place. to we have to save. Yeah. But someone did ask, isn't that the place they had the headless Ned Stark? They literally yeah, had that. They, they had, had a headless Ned Stark. Rail, they probably had it there. They had like Biggie. They had like oh my god, a ton of Game of Thrones ones, like so many rare ones. They had they, there was a crazy amount of those, so definitely check it out if you're in the area. And if if not, check out your other local flea markets. There's people that yeah, are all over the country trying. because we've gone to a few, and then this is the best one for us. But it's worth checking out because I guess a lot of flea markets have these, and there are, we luckily have the two of them. Yeah, but. and you never know, you might find like a yard sale or a flea market that's selling pops. They don't even know the value, so you could like walk away with like like. I someone, have heard those stories. Yeah, one of our viewers um actually messaged us saying like they had that SpongeBob like Fanatics one. It's worth four hundred now, but at the time they told us it was like two hundred. They're like, I just found this for like twenty five dollars. Oh, I remember that. that. Yeah, yeah. They didn't know pops that well. They're like, I just found this for it was like ten bucks, twenty bucks, something like that at um a yard sale, and they were like, is this a good one? And I was like, that. Pop Pop is literally worth 200 like something dollars like oh my goodness it's crazy that's but, crazy i wish we had more luck like that but i'll still take the flea market because no it's a good place good place when it's like a dry season yeah, stuff yeah. Like my pops because that's what i mean besides comic book shops you know you're not gonna find it actually i got i was at my local comic book shop the other day guys and i got a few pops i was looking for so yeah and to... that um the con one of the comic book shops near us has like old Funko stuff too. Like they have like the wacky wobbler thing you sent me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of cool. That they had pretty... it for like, like they're around like 50 bucks. They're probably, that's how, probably how much they're Yeah, our local comic book shop has a bunch of random stuff. They had like some really old pops, limited ones, but some of them are really overpriced. It's just weird. Some some of them are like significantly overpriced, like oh by like $100 and some are like wicked underpriced. Like I found like the Man of Steel for $10 there that's worth like 35 So it's just crazy. But yeah. anyway. Let's see. We'll pop in the chat a little bit because we haven't been talking to you guys enough. The chat just goes so fast. I know. I'm sorry. We we love... The, our favorite part about the live stream, guys, is talking with you guys. And we failed at that tonight. I'm sorry. So we're going to try to... We'll see. Who's got who's got some questions? Yeah, if you guys you, have any questions, we'll answer some questions. What do you guys want to know? We'll answer... We'll do... We will do one more giveaway. Don't worry. We've got one more giveaway before we end the stream. But let's talk with you guys a little bit. If you guys have any questions, we'll answer some um some of them if you're asking if we got certain pops you're gonna probably have to wait for the mystery of that oh yeah some so, of the pops we're, yeah we don't want to disclose if we got them or not because we're waiting for them to either come in the mail i'm or seeing what i already them. love is babo one direction fan Woo! oh of course <laughs> he that's probably his favorite band he doesn't get to listen to any oh, of yeah, the when stuff. it's playing in the car babo goes nuts he but loves um it. he loves yeah he loves it <laughs> but um let's see you got a lot of questions so i just can't get through them all but um did you pre-order any pops recently Hmm. I don't know. Have we pre-ordered any? Pops? We have gotten a few. We're still waiting for a few. Yeah. Yeah, we're still waiting for a few like really cool um sets. But hmm. um, one guy asked. I like this question. He said um, so we, we've said this a bunch, so we'll we'll answer it in like ten seconds. But he said, what did you go, what got you guys into pop? So we I've told this story like up on every stream, but just for people that don't know, Catherine actually I always was interested in pops. Catherine kind of was too, and yeah, Catherine bought Catherine yeah. bought me a few Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice from Valentine's Day of 2016, and she bought me two of those, and I was like, this is awesome. And then yeah, I, just, I was just happened. like thinking for like a little gift to throw in. I was like, oh these are cute, and like the movie was coming out or it already came out. I don't remember when when it was, but I was like, this would be cool to get. And then ever since then. We've been collecting like crazy. Yeah, and I mean, the first year, we just kind of were grabbing things here and then. It was overwhelming. And, and also, like, we didn't know anything about Pops. So nothing. We knew we'd, nothing. We didn't know what a like, chase was, all that we'd stuff. We'd go to, like, stores that would have them for, like, commons for, like, $13. And we'd be like, eh, maybe not, maybe. Like, that's why we didn't collect as many, but... I'm looking at this one. Someone said, do you have a Godzilla Pop? If so, can I see it, Ooh, please? We actually just got this one. Yeah, I'm going to try to slip through here. Lately, we've been, when, we've been doing, like... Uh, yeah, road happens. trips and like we'll, uh. we'll already be going there, but then um we'll stop at like pop sh like shops nearby or like books of millions like places that aren't near. Us. Whoa, bam! Whoa, bam! Wait, what bam? Get it? Cause it's from oh, bam. bam. Yeah. So whoever yeah. wanted to see the Godzilla pop, this is this one, and I don't even. He's like white or whatever. I think someone said to look at the back of him or something. Yeah, can you see from there? You can't it's see. at the back of it's white but too or something. There's a lot of Godzilla oh, no, purple, pops. It's purple. I see it. Is it really? Yeah. That's, that's so cool. Awesome. Well, well, maybe we'll take it out eventually, but. We got that from Bam when we went, so that's mega, mega awesome. But um, love that one. Um, let's see. Quick questions. Over or under on Andrew Luck getting 35 touchdowns. I say 38. We'll say 43 for me. Colts. We're going all the way this year. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get too hyped. But do you play Fortnite? 
You do? You love Fortnite? Oh, I, I, okay, so I used to play Fortnite, but the game kind of went off the rails. <laughs> the game went crazy. Yeah. Um, like, you got, I, she actually, you wanted to play it before all the hype. I remember you talking about I it. Did. I did. Before it blew yeah, up or anything. I, I used to play it like before, like right when it came out, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, Someone asked if we pre-ordered the Batman Hush. I oh, yeah. We got to oh, that shoot. Pop. Yeah. We have to get yeah, that yeah. one. That, that little, so we cool. saw that one we were in line for Comic-Con. I was standing outside Barnes & Noble. So we will definitely pre-order that. That one's amazing. Someone said Venom or Red Hood, better anti-hero. 110% oh, Red Hood. I don't know enough about either of them. I, I like but Venom. But I'll, I'll just say Venom to be that person. Wow. Because <laughs> you said the other. I don't Someone, know. I'm just trolling. Canucks Hub said, are you guys Bruins fans? So, you know, we're from Boston. I'm not... I used to watch a oh, lot of... Me Mar too. I used to watch a lot of the Bruins. I, I haven't been into it as much lately. I'm a diehard Celtics fan, though. So wait, that's... I just want to say I used to be like a crazy Bruins fan. Like I'd be screaming at the TV. Like I'd be nuts. I used to watch them all the time, but then I kind of just like fell off the last couple of years. And like I watch more um, Celtics now. Yeah. So I'm a die diehard Colts fan. I hate the Patriots, even though I'm new. I hate the Patriots. Um, love the Colts. Never missed a Colts game in like the last seven years. Diehard Celtics fan too. Love the Red Sox too. But Bruins not as much. Anyway, next one. Let's see. Oh, they're saying I think some nerdy chair said Catherine could open it. I think referring to the Godzilla. They were, we're getting, I'm getting I'm getting <laughs> oh, oh my I'm shaking, that. I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I'm getting See, try to help me. I'm getting um, Nashi, don't help me, because you hurt me. Let try me to hurt me. me. I, me, I, me, I, me, I, me I go. I only <laughs> open I only open pops that are mine. We both have like separate collections. So like I have a stone keeper. Ryan has a stone keeper. In that video, I opened my stone keeper. So don't worry. It's not like I'm being like a terrible person and opening his pop. I, I wouldn't open that Godzilla just because I don't want, I cannot, I cannot open um a six inch box. That'll be a yeah. mess. I will ruin that two. thing. I can't open pops like and keep the box good for the life of me. So, so someone said, I love this one. I was waiting for this one. Shazam movie. Or the Aquaman Ooh. movie. So absolutely both because I love Marvel. I love, Marvel. I love Infinity War. Cried, sweat, screamed, everything. I love I love what Marvel's done. But my heart is still DC. I've always been like DC's what got me into this whole genre. I love DC. I always gonna love Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Green Lantern, all them more than any Marvel character. So any DC movie that they put up besides Suicide Squad, <laughs> that was terrible. But I get super hyped God and awful. I super love. So Aquaman, Catherine, I'll let you feel that on your. You, she loves Aquaman. I love Aquaman. When I saw him in, well, he wasn't even in BBS. What am I saying? He was yeah, like, like a in, cameo. Yeah, he was like, like a little like whatever. But when he was in Justice League, I I don't know. I just I love Aquaman. So when I knew that the movie, like when Ryan told me the movie was coming out, this is like a while ago because you keep up with all the movies like months and like months before. Years. Like years, yeah. So I was like, ooh, that'll be really good. Like I'm excited for that. Same with when the Flash one was supposed to come out or whatever. I was very excited for that. And I saw the trailer. It was very over overwhelming and i'm very excited for that movie i i love the odd underwater stuff it was really mm -hmm. cool in justice league so I, I can't imagine what it'll be like a, like a whole movie with like a lot more of that in it i, think I, be great. I personally i'm very pumped for aquaman i think it's going to change the game because it's like that underwater stuff the action's good the story looks good the cast is phenomenal i've read like what the plot's going to be about it sounds like it could be very good i mean i know dc's had a history of a little bit i still don't think they flopped really Justice League could have been better, don't get me wrong, but I love the heck out of I Man mean, of Steel. Every single movie, though, is at least, like, enjoyable. Like, it oh, doesn't 100. have to be, like, it doesn't have to be, like, just, an A-plus like, movie, like, right? It doesn't have to have everything, like... They just go over, like, BVS was, like, a little bit... Not, I'm not gonna say sophisticated, but it was, like, it was so playing with the themes and everything. It's, like, over the top. Dark. They could have just made, like, dark. They could have made a simple movie. They made, like, really complex and stuff. So, that, like, I understand. It's not everybody's cup of tea in the darkness, but... Aquaman looks awesome. I trust James Wan, okay? And then for Shazam, though, honestly, if I had to pick the two, I honestly, I don't know, I might honestly be a little more excited for Shazam. You're more excited for Shazam. I love Shazam. I'm I love this. Too, I but... love the story of Billy Batson. When they announced Shazam was coming out, I've been excited ever since. I know everyone's going to hop on the bandwagon, but like, it's such a cool story. You know, he's like an orphan and everything. And he just, he's kind of like this, he, he has the makings of a hero, but he doesn't. And I just, the whole like, plot of that and the idea of what Shazam is. I just love that. Would love myself a Henry Cavill cameo in that movie. That would be great. So very, very excited for that movie. So that's that. So that's enough about that's enough about that though. And then I saw Christina Payne said that um Ryan, my nephew is Liam Payne. Oh if that's true, God. I want an autograph oh and God. I want to meet him too. I want to meet him too. And then, Shazam uh, pops, yeah. They're definitely going to make those. Well, that's make what, yeah. the new ones, yeah. at least. What I was thinking, though, and I, someone, I said this earlier, and I actually I was talking to you about this earlier, is, so, they're making a new Infinity War wave, like, this fall, I think. We don't know exactly what we're getting. I think we have an idea, but, like, I think we saw it in the system. They were making, like, Bucky. They are making another Groot, whatever. So, 
those are probably coming out in like the fall towards the end of the year. So then like Avengers 4 is coming out in May. So we're literally getting a, a new Infinity War wave and they're going to make like what are they like what I'm trying to say guys I can't form words here is <laughs> What are they going to do? Because they already have like Iron Man, Cap, and all that from Civil War. They have it from Avengers Two. They have it from Avengers One. They'll now make they, them again. they have it from Infinity War. So now they're making. They're gonna make another. Are they gonna when Avengers Four comes out? Is Funko literally gonna make another whole wave of Iron Man, Cap? Yes. Thor. Come on. That's crazy. I just can't. Every year we get there's a little bit slightly different sculpts. I just can't believe it. It's just How I don't know what those, we're gonna um, do. Gold ones we got in between all this. Oh yeah, even Marvel's. Ones. I know. Marvel's going bananas with Funko right now. I actually kind of like those. Like, I know it's just another money grab, whatever you want to call it, but I actually really like, like, I like having, like, a whole set of those, and I like how, like, they're the 10-year. Like, I think that's cool. But, um, yeah, that's what I mean. I'm just, I definitely want Avengers 4 pops. Don't get me wrong. I can't wait till they leak the name so I don't have to keep calling it Avengers 4. But, um, I will absolutely get them. But I'm just saying it's, it's crazy that they're coming out with this many pops. I mean, I'm still trying to complete my Civil War set. And I, I still don't have my Infinity War yeah, set. It's just crazy. You have, yeah, you've been getting them over time, though. It's just crazy. I don't even have all the Age of Ultron ones. And their first Avengers ones are so hard to get. There better be a Scarlet Witch. Yeah, I'd say we can never talk. We can never, ever, ever talk enough about Infinity War. So I'd say for Infinity War pops, I want to see... I. 110% need a um, Doctor Strange. He stole the movie. I, th I already liked Doctor Strange, but he, uh, he was a standout yeah. character for a lot of people. Now I think, I always like, I always forget they didn't make a pop for that for yeah. him anymore yet. We, we have the other ways, but yeah. Definitely need a Doctor Strange pop. We definitely need a Scarlet Witch pop. That'd be cool. I would, I know there's a lot of Black Panther. It would be cool to kind of see one for Infinity War just to go with all the others. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I don't know how we don't have a Star Lord. I don't really know how. We should. They, he's a big yeah, part of the movie. Very true. No more Thanos is or Thanos. However, you guys want to pronounce Thanos, it. I don't want to start yeah. any fights. Thanos, Thanos, whatever. It's I like, like saying the both. Dino Dino. Yeah, I know. Yesterday. I know. I trolled so many people in my head. I called it Dino the entire video. And literally, we must have gotten 15 different comments that said it's pronounced Dino. And like, you don't even watch Flintstones, man. I'm like, I, I have a bridge at this house that we live in. I live a under bridge? it. I have oh. a bridge. I'm a troll. I like to troll and be difficult. So I was saying Dino the whole time. I know it's Dino. It's just funny. I like to troll with you Ooh, guys. Someone asked if we have any hot toys. I don't even think you we can do, see the hot toys. You can toy see Star-Lord. You, 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 you can see Star-Lord from the bottom down, which sounds bad. But yeah, we have him up there. Yeah, we, you can't really see him that well. but We, um, Jetta, who's been having a very bad influence on us lately after that opening the Stone oh. Keeper. He yeah, yeah he convinced Catherine to buy a hot toy because when Jenna's... I when I watched his videos like way back when I was like ooh because I, I didn't really know much about hot toys and I was like I think I might get one and then I just did one day I just bought like this um what's it called Star Lord one yeah deluxe, deluxe one too I went all out I honestly I don't have any hot toys I was actually um we've been I was saying earlier in this in the stream that we were kind of redoing our little setup here so I was customizing the Star Lord because the hot toys you can have like three different heads all sorts of different things and I was like going back and forth with the different um poses. And I was like, yo, I need one of these hot toys myself. So I'm probably going to buy one soon. I'm probably going to get one of the Infinity War ones. I don't know which one. I really want the Thor. No, the um, Iron Spider one. That one's cool too, that but like. crazy. I don't know. I'd, I'd, rather get the, I'd rather get the Homecoming Spider Man first. And then get I that do. One. I love the Homecoming one, though. Mm, yeah, someone said true. buy a Thor hot toy from Infinity War. I, that one's awesome. I actually I contacted <laughs> Hot Toys because, you know, I wanted both his eyes to glow. Because, you know, when I'm rock, spoiler alert, but when Rocket gives him the eye thing, sorry if I spoil it, if you haven't seen Infinity War yet, but when he gives him the other eye, when he's on the patch, both of the eyes are glowing. So I asked him, I'm like, is the hot toy going to come with two eyes that glow? Because I think that would look cool. And they said it's only coming with like the one oh, with one eye and one of the patch. Yeah. Oh. So they're not coming with both eyes glowing. So that's annoying, but like, I'll that's still get fine, it. Though. I'll I probably still get it. Cool. I liked how you can get, um, I like how you can put, um, how you can get, um, what's it called? I like how you can do payment plans. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's exciting. That's wicked yeah. funny. Are you going to pay monthly or whatever? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Baba with the Infinity Gauntlet. If anybody would like to customize that, that I will, we will love you. You will be in our debt forever. We will love you forever. You'd have to make, like, a little, like, his hands are kind of small. And you could, his little, you could, his you little could, mitts. You push them off. You gotta care about wage. You've been leaving. Yeah, we leave like wage in the dust a lot. It happens. It happens when you're not the first child. We'll actually give you guys a little tease. We have... It should be out sometime this week, but we, um, we've um we been getting... You guys have been sending us some awesome oh, stuff in the P.O. Box. And um, I'm not gonna tell you what. There's a new addition to the Pop Academy there family. Is. There's a Woo! new addition to Obi Someone sent us something amazing. Not gonna give you guys any details yet, but we have a new PO box video coming up probably this week. Just finishing up editing it and stuff. And you guys are you just you guys are crazy with you that. guys are it's so insane. generous. We had to so, like film it like a few different times just because we get so many things. But um, that's that. I oh, here's a really good question. I like this one. What was the worst San Diego Comic Con exclusive in your opinion? Crunchberry Beast, go. 
I can't. Well, see, I can't it wasn't really, bad. It was just disappointing. Mine, I can't really be a hater of this because I don't like play the game. But I feel like a lot of people were mad about the um, Mickey Mouse. Uh, oh, Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts. Hearts. Oh, wait. Let me. <laughs> the hooded and unhooded thing. I mean, that was kind of cheap. That They could have done something cool. The one thing I will say, I'll, I'll kind of like segue that and question. And the headless Nick. Because they already had one. They just put the glow Yeah, on that it. is true. So that's kinda... The one thing I will say is... I'm not going to say my least favorite. I'm just saying disappointed is that the transparent flash, the one with him running, because oh. it's like, it's lazy and like Justice League, like give us, they only made one Superman pop from Justice League. So instead of that, they could have done another one of those. Okay. They could have done a shirtless Superman. They could have done another, but exactly. I would have, lo oh, oh, I would have loved that. <laughs> oh my God, guys. I would have loved a shirtless Superman. Shirtless Henry Cavill. Oh my God. Oh, I'm going to sleep well tonight. Anyway. I, okay, but they give us another flash, and it's like, the three-pack flash chrome was enough. They didn't need to do the running flash. And it's just annoying. Like, I, they could have made a different character or whatever. You know what I mean? It's just so... I, did, I didn't love that. You know, they could have made a it's parademon true. pop. That would have been cool. I would have even bought that. So, that was probably my, like, most whatever one. So, I will say, guys, though, it's either really good or really bad if I got my hands on the three pack chrome flash that yeah. was one of my top ones so mm -hmm. i either got it i'm very excited or i didn't get it and you're gonna get a huge rant video it's, it's obviously one of the two because what else could it be so that's that anyway guys i think it's time for the um last giveaway here last giveaway all right we got one more giveaway guys so um sweeper bot and reptar is off the table but um we still got these other four so we just gotta figure out the question so mm -hmm. hope you guys are ready for the giveaway mm -hmm. Let's see. If you're ready for it, give this video a I thumbs think, up. Yeah. If, if you haven't already, why not? Yeah, if you guys... I think, um... Oh, man. Ooh. That yeah, one we kind of... Like that one we mentioned earlier. That one's a little Ooh, easy. Yeah, that, that one we can... True. Okay, so I think... Here's what we're going to do. The last question is... It's not... It's a two-part answer. So it's a little bit difficult. So I think we'll go with it, though. We'll go with it? Okay, we'll go with it. So right, this yeah. one, if anyone starts and going, you know... So... If anyone, anyone starts guessing, it's not until we read the question. So, you have to get both parts of the question right. If for some reason nobody's getting it because it could be a little bit tough, we will give hints. I think someone will get it, but it's not It's mm. not that easy. Yeah. So, here's the question. Here we go, guys. It's a two-parter. Yeah, it's a two-parter. So, and you have to answer them in, in like, one answer. You can't, like, say oh, yeah. one and Thank then say you. another. Yeah. So, for example, if I said... What is my two favorite flavors of ice cream? And say they were chocolate and vanilla. We'll keep it simple. You can't say chocolate and then wait 10 seconds and then say vanilla. They got to be in the same answer because there's no way we'll be able to figure out. Have to be in the same answer or disqualified. You get one of them right and the other one wrong. Disqualified. So you need them both right. Okay. So without further ado, you're on the edge of your seat. No one's going to know what it is. Here we go. <laughs> you have to get both of these right. We'll help you guys out if we struggle. I feel like someone will get it. It's just, it's tough because you have to get both of us and there's a lot of options. Okay. Uh, yeah. Here it's we go. Mostly, uh, yeah. I'll we'll give you guys that. a hint. What is, got to get them both. My favorite pop from San Diego Comic-Con of this year, 2018. Favorite one, whether we have it or not. What's our, my favorite and Catherine's favorite. Go. Have to get them both right and put the answer down. Both we'll of them. Give you guys time for this one. Both of them. We'll give you, you guys. You, you, you have to get both carefully. of them. You have They're to get different. It's different answers. Our number one. Number one. I'll let you guys know if someone's starting. If someone has two someone. answers. I don't think anyone's got one. I'm reading. Let's see. Someone. Mm. Hmm. Someone got. Hmm. Okay. Someone got. Oh, someone got it. Did they? Right, I'm not, yeah. I this one. Yet. This yeah. one, someone got it. This one. Oh yes, yes. I think yes. someone got it. I think someone got it. Let me just double check. We don't. You don't need to guess whose is who, but let me just make sure. A lot of people got mine right away. Um, let's see. Um, one second. I'm just gonna control F. Okay, let's see. I'm just making sure. Yeah, I got it. That's the one. Okay, that's the I one. Think, okay, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. double check too. Yeah, I'm double checking right now. La 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 la. Nope. Oh, yeah, I see right here. That's yep, yep, yep. Okay, Got it. so the winner is, I had it, Jose Rodriguez, and he guessed it right. I'm going to write you down. He guessed the next car in the Thor. So I don't know if we got the next car. You'll have to wait to see um, future videos You'll if, we, to see if we got, got it or not. not. But that was Catherine's favorite, and mine was the Thor with the Odin Thor. So it was close. It was either that or Red Hood. A lot of people were guessing Red Hood. but And I did like the, um, what is it, what's it called? 
the Mark one from yeah a lot of a lot of people you guys are doing really good I, I love the three it was a t like those are my top three Chrome on um, three pack and then I love the Red Hood and I love the the Odin Force you I loved a lot I just like I remember yeah. like I was just obsessed the with problem that was bar. the pro yeah she loved the next step the problem was that. The Odin Force, I was like, kind of like, it wasn't my favorite, but then I take away the Asia exclusive, and that would have been hands down my favorite. So for that reason, I was like, it's still my favorite. You know what I mean? Because like, I was gonna have Red Hood at the beginning, but then I was like, I like the Thor Odin Force one. So Jose Rodriguez, you have won. You have to let us know which pop you would like. Don't forget to message us on Instagram, Twitter, so, or email us. Our email is in the description. We have left if you're wondering. Eight Bit Batman. Um, we have the Overwatch San Diego Comic Con one. The Rick and Morty. And then we have the Atomic Blonde, which is right here. So you get to pick between those four, which one you would like. Has he said anything yet? I don't think I so. I don't think so. Let's see if he's he's still in here. I haven't seen him say no, anything. No, I think he's still in here. Jose Rodriguez, wherever you're at, you get one of these four beautiful pops. Okay, he's here. All right, so you, you get to pick which one you want. Jeremiah said, I just love hanging with you guys. Thanks so much for being so generous. Thank you, Jeremiah. And thank you, guys. And thank guys all of you guys in here. We really appreciate that. So, you know, we love hanging. Oh, he said 8-Bit Batman. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I love this one. That one's awesome. We'll send you that out. So, for anyone that's in here that won, um, for anyone that's in here that won, message us on Instagram, Twitter, or email us, and we will get your address, and we will ship that bad boy out tomorrow. A-S-A-T. Anybody that did not win... Don't worry, okay? We will do, as you guys know, we will do another live stream giveaway coming up soon. We'll have yeah, more and pops. For, and for future live streams, they, they're not always going to be like, oh, like 4K, like whatever, like when we do like those milestone ones. What, where we might like do live streams where we're going to like unbox something then maybe we'll just like spontaneously give one yeah, away. We, we, been, we all, every single live stream we've said this, we've <laughs> said, oh, we're going to start doing more live streams. And we did a little bit better. I think we did one to Sonic one time. But sometimes we get like a lot of pops in and we're like, oh, we're not going to make a video on this. So We'll probably start going live more just to unbox pops. Yeah, we still pops. haven't shown you guys probably like over yeah. 15 pops that we've picked up within the last the, month. Yeah, there's <laughs> a lot of them that haven't. Too. A lot of them that haven't. Yeah, we went to the flea market again and got more pops and we never made a video on it. Like from the beginning of June, there's probably 20 to 30 pops you guys haven't seen. Some of them are really cool. So we're going to, we figure, you know, we can't make a video for every single one because some of them don't fit together. So we will do more live streams where we will unbox and we'll do more live streams where we take you guys to McDonald's. Sonic, and then of course there'll be the ones where we do the giveaways too. Yeah, the so, fun goes. Like like Jeremiah said in here, we love hanging out with you guys. You guys are the best. It's like you guys are literally the reason that we're still going here. You're the reason we're at 4K for you guys. Yeah, you guys are the best. You guys watching the videos, smashing the like button, joining the live stream, commenting, commenting talking with us on Twitter, on Instagram. You guys are the best. Oh uh, yeah, and always never be afraid to comment. We love I. Sometimes we don't get to every single we don't get to every single comment and we get some Instagram messages. We haven't a lot of people message us on Instagram. We don't get to every single one of them, but don't like be scared of us. We're people, you know what I'm saying? We love talking to you guys. So always, you know, if you guys wanna just say what's up, you know, what's your favorite type of ice cream? I'll say, let's see. I say I like bubblegum. I <laughs> bubblegum. You never get bubblegum. I like bubblegum. I almost got it the other night though. Mm. Bubblegum's great. So yes. Thank you to everyone saying congrats on the 4K. Thank you to all of you once again. See, I didn't say it again, but um, we'll wrap it up here. We had a great time with you guys. Um, hope everyone had a fantastic San Diego Comic Con again. I know it yes. was stressful. And Funko Shop, if like all those. Things. Any of you guys are going to Boston or New York Comic Con, message us. Let us know. You guys want to meet up or whatever. That'd be We'd so cool. Love, love to guys. meet you guys. Talk in person for a little bit. You know, whatever you guys want. Talk, talk. If you want to be, if you guys hate us and want as far away as possible. We'll, you know, make sure we're on separate sides of the con. Whatever happens, things happen. But until next time. Thanks again, Funky, with this Thanks guys. again, Funky, with those guys. We love you guys. And bye. we're going to peace out of bye. the live stream. Bobble says bye. Bobble says bye. Bobble says bye. Got to go vertical. Goodbye. Goodbye, people. Goodbye.